Hi guys and girls and welcome to another uh, ride day. So with the ride days, they're not actually every day. It's only when I do some sort of significant, you know, something more than just, you know, a little ride around town. So it's normally, you know, if I'm going from one destination to another, normally when I'm, um, and when I'm uh, going to stay somewhere else, but in this, this occasion, uh, and every now and then there's just little side trips, you know, like Death Road or we went to on a side trip from La Paz in Bolivia. And here I'm going from La Paz and it's all in fast motion <laughs> uh, uh, with some photo, a few more photos. Uh, here I'm going from La Paz to uh, Cabo San Lucas, which is a, it's a, quite a famous resort town in, um, in uh, Baja. It's down the southwestern tip. Um, there's a few other, there's quite a lot as you get, as you get further down, there's quite a lot of um, other little, little tiny resort towns uh, peppered amongst them. And uh, you know, there's like Todos Santos and uh, uh, San, San Jose del Cabo and uh, yeah, so there's quite a few of them. And it's pretty industrial, uh, the first part of the trip and then you get into uh, where you get near, nearer to the coast and there's some pretty nice uh, mountains and roads. We actually went, uh, did a loop around so it, it took a lot longer, but um, Cabo San Lucas, yeah, very touristy sort of place. Got a really nice promenade uh, uh, area where the where the uh, all the boats are. It's a bit of a bit of a playground for the for the wealthy, um, and it's uh, close to about thirty miles out. It's the only uh, international airport. Uh, in the southern part of maybe even the only international airport in all of Baja, so a lot of a lot of tourists fly there. It's also got a uh, a bit of a reputation for its um, uh, for its pharmaceuticals. So, like a lot of the pharmacies, you can go in there and you can get Viagra and all these prescription drugs without actually having a prescription. Um, and uh, a lot of people go there. You can't just buy them over the counter, but you can just ask for them and they'll go off and they'll come back. Uh, I just got some sleeping tablets and stuff. I won't say what Leo got. Uh, so basically, yeah, Leo, Leo's driving in the car in front, in front of me. There he is, in that blue four-wheel drive. Um, Leo owns Leo's Baja Oasis. So when I got there, he, he told me, oh, we've got to go down here. And, um, he wanted to do a trip there anyway, do some shopping. There he is in the car. Um, and still let me on take some photos. Um, he wanted to come down as well and show me a little bit of a, about the town and that. He's not that, really that interested in, the, in it either. But um, yeah, so basically once I got there, I met him and, and uh, his partner, Romy, and, and we, we got along really well and having a good laugh and that. And it was, they were getting ready for the, for the season. Um, and he had to do a few, run a few errands there, so he came down. I wanted to ride my bike because I wanted to get some footage. Um, yeah, there, there was some nice footage around the coastal areas, but it took a while to get there. Um, but uh, yeah, so he, he came down with me. We, we stopped off at a few little places along the way. Um, and it was a bit of fun on the dirt. You know, I had the cases off the bike. I think I, I think I had the, I had the, I had the bike. Uh, it was lightened up. I think I might have still had the cases on the sides. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, I'll probably see from one of the photos whether I have. Um, yeah, but when, it was a good ride. It was a really nice day, and I had I had fantastic weather the whole time I was there. Just taking a few photos of other places. Uh, I think we're getting. I think we're we're getting pretty close to the town now. Yeah, we had a little, had a little bit of a ride around the, the town and um, had a look around. And it took a while for us to find where we wanted to stop. Snoopy's just in front of me there in the back. Um, a lot of a lot of things too. There's a lot of cars from the US there, and they basically bring them down. They don't need to register again, so uh, you see a lot of US cars there. Uh, they bring them down, and leave them there, you know, use them. You know, if they've got a holiday house, they use the cars there. Um, but yeah, so we're just coming into it now. We, get a car spot. 
back the bar, the calf the bar. You gotta have some lunch, have, have a few beers. All, all good. So, yeah, so um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a nice trip, you know, it was a, a good day out and um, I had a good, there's a photo that I just took, I had a, had a good time and there you can see the, the boardwalk with all the boats and all that sort of stuff and there's some really nice beaches around there too. Um, again, this wasn't the busy time of the year, so uh, it was quite nice, I think I can't really tell from that photo whether I had the side, no I didn't, I took the side cases off. So. So you can see on the back of my bike there, I've got I've got the water, the white ones, the water, um, roto packs, and the and the red ones, the gas. So just for an extra gas and extra and carrying water, I didn't have it I didn't have it filled up now. But once I got into Mexico, I put some gas in it and all that. But I never had problems in Mexico getting um, getting gas. The only time I ever had any issues with gas was uh, and and everyone will. Is, uh, is in Chile and Argentina uh, in the remote parts. Yeah, there's a big gap between the, the gas stations, and uh, not only that, um, not only that, there's a um, there's, uh, there's all, they're always striking. So you can get to one gas station and get no gas, and then, then you get to the you get to the next one and it's crap gas. And yeah, so there's a 360 camera there. That's a Samsung Gear 360. They've got a new one out now that was just released the other day. Um, it's a little bit more bulky than that. Um, it's got like a cone below it. Um, but it shoots at a faster frame rate, I think. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. But if it is a faster frame rate, well, then I'll definitely and better image stabilization as well, apparently. Um, but the, this camera worked great, you know. Um, press the button on the top to record and it records 360 pretty well. You can see the stitching lines, uh, but it's just so easy to use. Um, I really like that camera. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a really good one. And um, so, yeah, so we headed there, then we headed back and we ran the long way. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going away over the speed limit here. Because there's a couple of places where the road was really nice and not a lot of traffic, and I just gave it the beans, you know. Beautiful thing about the KTM is I can get up to, you know, very uh, get up to 200k an hour uh, pretty quickly. You know, uh, you just got to make sure you've got a good, nice, long, straight road in front of you, and you know I don't ride at any for any length of time at that speed, um, especially with the weight on the bike. But every now and then it's good to have a little bit of fun and get the leads and uh, see what she's got. But the, the, the most exciting part about the bike is the acceleration. In uh, fourth and fifth gear is quite incredible for a for a big bike. Uh, the amount of acceleration you still get, and it's not, it, it, it kicks in pretty much straight away. Uh, if you if you're getting up to like fourth gear, you, you can sit at 120 k an hour pretty comfortably. Uh, still a lot of power left in it, probably at about 5,000 reps, and then you can get up to seven seven and a half thousand reps in fourth, and then as soon as you kick it into fifth, it just wants to go again. So that was, that was good fun and uh, yeah so um, and we headed back, I think the whole trip took around about eight hours, seven and a half hours or something like that. It was about 400 kilometres, uh, mainly highways uh, and the roads were really good. Um, the road out to um, to uh, San Jose called Del Carp was a new road so that was really, really good and you know some sort of big mountain passes and that like just going up and down mountains. It's not it's all bare, there's not a lot of trees. But um Yeah it was good it was good fun. And so this is on the I think this is the eleventh of October and uh, I'd already had two nights there um, relaxing and uh, having a look around and I think we planned on doing a fishing trip uh, which was good fun and uh, and then also did some snorkeling. We did two trips out of the boat. He wanted to check check out the boat to see, make sure everything was right. Um, just um, yeah, he wanted to uh, to get the, his boat out for the first time and then basically moor it and uh, the dock. Uh, so we did that. Just screwing around, but it was good fun. So 
an off-strop staff that was moved from the East of Sabrina from the past to go out to the waterfront. And, uh, and I went out there also to check out where the ferry was, just to get my bearings, you know. I was a little, I got, you know, with the ferry I got told so many stories about how bad it was and it ended up being really good. There was hardly anyone on the boat. Uh, the food was average, but um, the accommodation was really good. I had a little balcony on the on the sh on the ship as well, and just for an extra few like fifty dollars, I got the balcony. So you know, that was nice. The rooms were nice, comfortable sleeping, no noise, it was a nice smooth ride. Got there on time, but I had heard some other stories about being you know, five six hours late and uh, engine problems and crowded things and taking hours to get your bike on the boat and that, but basically it was running straight up. Um, I was pretty lucky, um, but it's, um, yeah, it's a beautiful place. Uh, uh, you know, I'd love to do it again and have a bit more time to, to, to really explore the place and get off-road a lot more in, uh, there because it is quite spectacularly fantastic. And this is, uh, this is the, the final part of the video, it's a shorter one now, but this is uh, Leo's Baja. So you can see he's basically made little areas everywhere. So it's not a huge place, but there's places where you can sit outside and there's a beautiful swimming pool, it's fantastic, there it is. There's a spa there as well. Um, not that I'm a big fan of spas, but you can see how he's, that's the main house there, you're looking at straight ahead and then there's the cabins. They've built all of this, you know, uh, from scratch. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's about $100 a night. Uh, if you stay for a week, I think you get it for about $500. And the main house is, I think, $250 a night. It's got two or three bedrooms. Um, this is where, this is the area that I, that I was relaxing in. Um, yeah, but there's, I think there's like three or four cabins. And he was building another one up on top of the, on top of the roof as well, with a single bed up on top of it. But I had a swim every single day. And it was pretty hot when I was there, so it was great. So that's Leo's Baja Oasis. There you go. Thanks very much, guys. Questions and comments below.